Oh, no. <laughs> I haven't even. I no, I'm even just I, just anticipating the smell because it's <laughs> awful. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Get this out of my mouth. <laughs> Hey friends, how are you doing today? Great, us too. And thanks very much for asking. Today, Becca's gonna try some very English foods. We've got five different things for you to try. Yeah. Are you nervous? I mean, I have tried not these things. Yeah. But some very English things before. It's like black pudding. Okay, oh yeah. It. Yeah. I didn't care for it. It was a little too peppery. Also, you've tried crumpets. Yeah, crumpets are good. Yeah. I, I feel like some of these will be good. I'm hoping one isn't gonna be good. Because <laughs> I can't stand the stuff. But so for today, we've got some co-op mushy peas, which sounds gross, but actually they can be quite nice. Heinz beans, which are delicious on toast. Beans on toast, a little bit yeah. of butter. Because you have beans, don't you? We have, yeah. I mean, those are more like a pork and beans type. Our baked beans, we doctor up quite a bit. But... Wait, what's franken beans? Spotted dick. It sounds gross, but actually this is delicious. I mean, I feel like that's something we watched a video about or a slideshow in, in health class. <laughs> <laughs> now the thing is with spotted dick, there may be raisins in here and you don't like raisins. I don't like raisins. Oh, hang on. I don't think there are raisins in this. Really? There's sultanas. Prawn cocktail flavored crisps. Or chips. I think, now you like shrimp. Yeah, I do. So I've got a feeling you're gonna like these. I can't stand them. And then the pièce de résistance. Why anybody would ever put this in their mouth is beyond me. Disgusting. Like, I feel like before we put it on some toast, you're gonna have to just sniff it. Have you ever even smelled yeast extract? I guess I've cooked with yeast before, but... Yeah, no, not no, yeast extract. No. It's very pungent. That's gonna be the last thing because I feel like it would ruin everything else yeah, if you right. ate it first. Baked beans on toast. Burb. One hour later. So I put some cheese by the side so you can try it first without and then put some cheese on top because that's how the Brits eat it. Oh, I like this little bit of foliage that's made its way into the shop. <laughs> Not only have I never had beans on toast, I've also never cut toast with a fork. There's a first for everything. Yeah, right. Wait, fine. Like, try some with some cheese. If you eat beans out of a can, don't doctor them, then you're like a hobo at a campsite. Really? Pour these into a pan. Yeah. And like mix them up with like ketchup, mustard, brown sugar. What? Onion. Lay bacon on top and you bake them in the oven and you have baked beans. That's amazing. I was, just, it, I was expecting bigger things. Is this something that people like, like, oh man, I really want to yeah. on toast. Like, so, okay, after a night out of drinking too many gins, we'll be <laughs> like, oh, I really, it's mostly cheese on toast. Yeah. But then, yeah, you know, I, can, I can get behind that. Beans on toast is like, oh yeah, and it's quick and easy, like, mm -hmm. oh, I can't be bothered to cook, let's just chuck on some beans, mm -hmm. chuck on some toast, put mm -hmm. some cheese on top, you're done. To me, that would be like college student food. I mean, are you eating the whole thing? It, it can't be that bad. I'm not going to waste the cheese. I mean, you have got some mushy peas to try. Do we put cheese on mushy peas? No, I don't know. <laughs> you can. <laughs> let's go out of five then. How likely would you be to have that again? I mean, if we're at a restaurant mm -hmm. and I've well, ordered a full English, yeah, like I would probably include that. Yeah? Or, you know, I would eat it. Okay. Three or four. Okay. Next then, we're going to go for some mushy peas. Three days later. Ah, it's hot. <laughs> this is a cup of mushy peas. That's that's what it looks like on the inside. Okay. It looks like baby food. That's what we're playing with here. It does look like baby food. And I don't believe that British people actually like this. My nan made it for me once. And I was like, whoa, what am I eating? How old were you? I remember like maybe six or seven. Mm. When I posted that picture of my fish and chips, everyone commented that I should have had mushy peas with it. I think that's just because it's a thing that goes right. with fish and chips. I had regular peas. Yeah, that's right. You don't need to conform to the standards of society. Just do your own thing. I mean, regular peas and I are still only... Oh, it's not a mutual friendship. I don't it's care like... much for peas. Do you not? Mm -mm. I eat them because I need to eat green vegetables. Okay. But I don't like to eat them. Well, maybe this could turn it for you. Maybe this mm -hmm. could be the thing. Mm, no. I mean, I like split pea soup as long as it's got like a bunch of ham or something in it. And that's more the ham that you're eating then than the, the peas. The, a vessel for the ham. Yeah, yeah. sure. There you go. So I'm going to scald my mouth and for three days I'm going to have just a numb mouth because I eat hot mushy peas. Oh. It doesn't smell that bad. Like Does it not? not? Not as bad as you were. All <laughs> I could smell when I was cooking those was grass. I think tea smells like grass. Yeah, they're all right. They're saltier than regular peas. So maybe that's a good thing. I, mean, I feel like it's just because they're so processed. You're going for more? Maybe I'll have the rest of this with our fish and chips now. Oh, you like <laughs> it? So it's better that than- comforting. Is it really? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, no. Yeah, when it's warm like that. You can keep them. <laughs> True. So she, Surprise breakout star, mushy peas. <laughs> yeah, right? That's what it looked like in the can before I... <laughs> Doesn't it look like somebody it's just like sneezed? Nuclear waste yeah, something. right. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not sure what this white stuff on the top is. It's the fat, probably. Yeah. So out of five. Four. Yeah, I'd have that again. I mean, oh I'm not gonna be like, man, I need some mushy peas. Right, you come back to me when you've had four gins. <laughs> then we'll see if you need some mushy peas or not. I'd be like meat pies. Yeah. I can't believe you like those. I'm not sure this relationship can continue. <laughs> Next up, Spotted Dick. Six months later. Your portion of Spotted Dick. I think this is going to be fine. It's almost like a ginger cake. Yeah. Right. How are you with ginger? I'm allergic. Good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like ginger. It smells like it's got molasses in it. Probably wouldn't order it out. I mean, it's it's okay. It's a little fruitier than I expected. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't like that molasses aftertaste. No? Mm-mm. Oh, Spotted Dick aftertaste. Sour taste. Wow, I feel that's just true to actual what it's named after. I've never had one in my mouth. I wouldn't know. Might. I do a little bit. Is it hot? No. Mm. That tastes like Christmas cake. Just a bit more fruity. Mm-hmm. I think I have had that before, but mm-hmm. I'm always put off by the name. Mm. So that's why I don't eat it. Oh yeah, I see what you mean about mm-hmm. the aftertaste. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's gross. What would you give that out of five? A two. Okay. Then that's being nice. <laughs> two thousand years later. Walker's Prawn Cocktail Crisps. Now I think you're gonna love these. Yeah, I probably will. Give them a try. I'll let you have a little smell. Oh, uh, it always smells like farts when you open the bag. What, what, <laughs> packets of crisps? Yeah, Do it's they? like whatever preservative they Less, I mean, fill up the bag up with. Oh, that smell. <laughs> yeah, this is good. I feel like I probably should have got you some more then because I got you that one pack. No, this will be fine. Yeah? I'll leave tomorrow. <laughs> That's a very good point. Would you go and pick those out at the store? Mm-hmm. Maybe I should send you some every now and then. That'd be a nice little surprise. Yeah. Some prawn cocktail flavoured crisps. Yeah. Out of five? Five. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that good. I, would, I mean, I would go out and purchase them. So that's mm-hmm. your favourite out of all you've tried so far? Yeah. I wouldn't fill up too much because we have to try the worst thing that was ever invented. Once somebody tricked me and put some of this on some bread. I said, my wife just made some cake. Do you want to try it? And I was like, yeah, go on then. And instead of me taking it, he wouldn't let me take it. He just put it in my mouth. And that was when I knew something was not right. And all I could taste was this stuff. And I nearly vomited. You just fill up on prawn cocktail flavor crisps. You're fine. <laughs> yeah. One eternity later. Let's only put marmite on a little bit so that like I can eat the buttered toast. Okay. I'm going right. to cut it in half. Marmite has a royal warrant. It's royally crap. <laughs> Oh, no. I haven't even. I no, haven't I'm just. Even opened I, it yet. Just anticipating the smell because it's awful. Now I feel like you have phantom marmite smell. Yeah, because I know how bad it's going to be. Oh, it's a different consistency than I imagined. What do you imagine? More opaque, I guess. It's oh, really? Translucent. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's dark. Oh no! If you like the smell of it, that means you're going to like the taste of it. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't. It, it's not off, that off-putting. Let me smell it. Oh god! <laughs> oh, this does not bode well. Oh, jeez. I'm just covering my face so I don't need to smell it. Also, I sound like Darth Vader. Please do not enjoy that. So, like, how thick should I go with it? I mean, that's terrible. Well, the fact that you're not going, that's disgusting. It's weird. Yeah, I don't like it. Yes! <laughs> Get this out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, I'm going to throw this toast away. Out of five? Zero. I would give it minus. It doesn't taste like, if it tasted like that, I would eat it. Yeah? But it tastes disgusting. I don't know what it was doing to my mouth. That's what mm-hmm. she said. Marmite. Thank goodness, it's never going to be in this house ever again. Oh. You okay? Maybe eat some more prawn cocktail crisps, that'll get rid of the taste. Mm, yeah. Okay, <laughs> well, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a little like, subscribe if you're new. Are you okay just chowing down there? <laughs> Goodbye, Dalph. <laughs>